Members of the set lines. Committee calls off Jiri bomb total shutdown as Chief Minister assures to fulfill demands. No bill for contractors without consent of engineers, says Education Minister. And RPF claims several security personnel injured in Sajik Tampak attack. Very good evening and welcome to Times of Manipur. This is Suraj Khongban Tabang giving you the news. Now the news in detail. This pandemic COVID-19 to avoid, please follow the SOPs and protocols by doing frequent hand washing and wearing a mask are a couple of things you can do to prevent COVID-19 infection. Masks are said to be highly effective in preventing the virus contained in the droplets from spreading around due to coughing and sneezing. Prevention of this spread of infection is more important than prevention of infection. However, in places that are crowded, droplets containing viruses may spread. Therefore, wearing a mask also helps prevent infection in crowds. Using hand sanitizers and maintaining social distancing can also help prevent COVID-19 infection. The 48-hour Jiribam district total shutdown imposed by the district hospital monitoring committee Jiribam has been called off after the chief minister assured them to fulfill 80% of their demands today. A five-member team of the committee held a meeting with the chief minister at the chief minister secretariat in Imphal. MLA Mohammed Asabuddin led the committee team. A memorandum was also submitted to Biren during the meeting. Committee leader and Sadananda informed that the chief minister assured to meet almost all demands after consulting the health commissioner, the health director, Jiri Baum, and the chief medical officer, Jiri Baum, tomorrow morning. 90 percent, 90 percent, on the other hand, Jiribam Women Civil Society Organization staged a sit-in protest against the state government's failure to provide adequate infrastructure, specialist doctors and necessary technicians for the lone Jiribam District Hospital. Jim Paul President H. Mema Devi said that they carried out the demonstration in support of the District Hospital Monitoring Committee Jiribam. She said they will intensify the protest if the Chief Minister fails to fulfill their demands. Manipur Education Minister S. Rajan to they criticize contractors saying no bill for them without consent of the concerned engineers. The minister was inspecting ongoing development works under UGC and RUSA at El Sane College, S. Kula Women College, Imphal College, Liberal College, DM College of Teachers, Education and GP Women College. He told journalists that most of the government-run educational institutions in the state are in bad shape when it comes to infrastructure. He said contractors have ignored engineers. The education minister said he will maintain transparency in any activity related to the education department and promised that infrastructure of all government educational institutions will be developed and upgraded soon. <laughs> Engineering, 
Sangal Ganda Bim Hidore Harga the engineer the report or Ganda Engineering Stab SO E Lairagamadu Haivatava. I don't know. Engineer the Pau Pidan and Muna Tony Bumi Am Tigata and Pango Tor Bumi Am Singh say. A quay Amata Bill Tiroi, Amasung Equi Lana Tavak Estimate Ki Wang with the Torumba, Tavak Hidi, so course notice among Piraga Wap resigned to Nusa Hunagani. The Ben RPF today claimed that the 252 mobile battalion of the PLA, the armed wing of the outfit, launched an attack on security forces at Mongkhat Aibol under Sajik Tampak in Channel District yesterday. The outfit in a statement today said that the PLA injured several personnel during the attack. RPF said that the security personnel were entering the area when the attack took place. Well, it's time for a short commercial break. Do stay tuned. Zaglon Ama Adomgi Awaba Amadi Nungai Bumiku Kayada Dom Tivina Namjava Tudang Kardang Oyabasu Saruk Yazava Panzanaba for Najabaki Saruk Amoina Masin Midang Pumtari Makai Tabu Matanda Sandok Cheragani Zaglon Ama Thoromasida Nandamasiki Saknai Rabasa Sakpa Asem Amarjit Kalunana Saruk Yaminanabaki Damak Contact Tobiro 762 9943 the medical damas at Pada, Asia Ginan Nata Hangalaini. General Nursing and Midwifery GNM 3S course. 12 pass in arts or science stream in confused to become a part of one of the most respectable professional career of all time. 12 pass in above duration 3 years 6 months. BSc in medical radiology and imaging technology DMRI. Ultrasound, MRI, CT scan, X ray. BSc in medical laboratory technology. BSc in operation theater technology. Now, enjoy 20% extra. On Kangla Popcorn, Kangla Milky Bobs, and Kangla Rings. Kangla. See you later, eh? Tan badi nate ko. Asing ba? Ay na pam ba? Darkaroy ba grocery items sing ba? Red delivery app season na raga. Order to beer lo eh. Chaning ba restaurant ki food po erso overpay to budi laer dena food kuding mag discount pi bugal loy nena kudat te na tiyo re isine red delivery for you Al Hayat the best halal restaurant in Manipur miam na pam na chanari ba Al Hayat restaurant ki howra ba matyal kuding mag red delivery app ki kuthang da order to bi rakto na yam na line na ahen ba charges yau dena. Isa isa gi yumda thilak na bagi kudong chaba pijeri. Abasi download tau duna. Abasi gi kuthang da ngasi mo order tau biu. Chana thak na bapo lam sing khatta na tana. Imung amada nong mar chang draba yad draba grocery item kaya marum su na fang laba app. Ngasi mo download tau biu. Red delivery for you. Miam gi thogal gi damak thong hang sare. Miam gi damak ahong ba wai malda adom gi matau taba. Apam ba commercial vehicle amade machine sing wai bina ba. I quickly phone number 9615-846-446 to call to be able to deeper hive excavator JCB. Pokland Volvo excavator, high river singer city gay. Adom Gimatau Taba, a pamba machine sing, YB by Yaragani. TV, Haza, Jane or so. I call out to me. Marks T. Kagi Marks no. Kagi Marks no. Bukai no. Hujik Oi ba COVID-19 ki lai chit asida. Marks yao du na thok pa hai vise. Kudong thini ngai na tra. Thaza. Ay sukhangi. Ay anaba mi na ti. Marks lai bada changa da ba sale du na. Koh ma thap ahao ba dum cha thok ke. Nangi si di lai rik hai raga lai sukhang da ba hai vidu ni. Marks upa na chinna ton da ki tholak pa lok tin na ching ba sing phazan ga dori ba ni. Nukshita yaram ba amora kai sing da. Marks upa di hak chang na changak pa da ki ngak thok toi ni. Adu di Thaza. I marks on the Opuvi. Covid nineteen lights at the Gitting Nanaba, Chatoka Matamda, marks Opiu. Season Nabi Ruraba, disposable massing, Mapamchava Yenglaga, Maitadu Piu, Natragana, Funzin Biu. Fee in a same Sazaba marksing Oregana, Namit Kudingi Suk, Samtopiraba Matunda, Season Abiu. Isagi Mamalyam, Naba Punsibu can see Amadi, Atopagi Punsibu, Kudong Tiba, see the Ging of Toxi. Welcome back after the break. All Manipur Students Union MSU today organized a one-day open discussion on imposition of school monthly fees by government during lockdown at the conference hall of MSU headquarters in Imphal. All Manipur Students Guardians Organization Secretary S. Sumati, MSU Advisor Thoksom Suresh and Union President Peter Lysharam attended the program as Presidium members. 
parents and guardians of different private schools and well wishers took part in the program. It may be mentioned that a joint emergency meeting of United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur, UARSOM and Hill Districts Private Schools Association Manipur yesterday resolved to comply with the order by education as on the school fee collection. India recorded 70,496 fresh cases of coronavirus and 964 deaths yesterday, taking the total number of COVID-19 cases to 69 lakh, according to the Health Ministry data. 78,365 people successfully fought off the viral disease on Friday, bringing down the overall active cases to almost 13% of the total case load. According to the government figures, total COVID cases in India now stands at 69,6151, including 8,93,592 active cases, 59,6069 recoveries and 1,6490 total deaths. India's recovery rate has increased marginally to 85.5%, while the death rate stands steady at 1.5%. The number of active coronavirus cases in India for the first time in a month has fallen below the 9 lakh mark, the Union Health Ministry said today. The ministry also said the active cases comprise merely 12.94% of the total positive cases of the country. The declining trend of the percentage of active cases is commensurately supported by the rising percentage of recovered cases. Recoveries in India have exceeded new cases for three continuous weeks, media reports said. A total of 59,6069 people have recovered from COVID-19 in the country so far and recoveries exit active cases of infection by 50,12,477. Manipur's coronavirus count has reached 12,810 after 131 fresh cases reported in the past 24 hours. Three persons died of the virus in the past 24 hours, taking the death toll to 86. A total of 147 COVID patients were discharged from various COVID care centers yesterday. The number of active cases stands at 2,858, while a total of 9,866 patients have recovered so far in the state. The recovery rate dipped to 77.01%. Manipur State Cooperative Bank, MSCB and Nabab today jointly organized a financial literacy awareness program at Haurai B. Ibutau Pakhangba, Haraubung in Imphal West. The participants were sensitized on Kisan Credit Card Bank loan on the Prime Minister Atma Nirbhar Bharat during the program. Rupees 9,52,000 was distributed to 18 beneficiaries as loan amount at the event. Separately, MSCB also organized a financial literacy awareness program at Loitang Khunau in Imphal West. During the event, MSCB Managing Director A. Subhash Singh IAS distributed loan amount of Rs. 4,20,000 to beneficiaries. <laughs> Aduna, a top of the Ragazu, the Matun Tanaraga, the Penisel Ebukizu, group same by Abel Egadum, same over the PC Hydra, a writer of the Maha PC, Hemas of Minasi, Hemasi, Manipus, the Cooperative Bengla. Vishnupur Forest Division and Governing Body of Mangul Nanbi College, Ningthau Kong, observed the World Migratory Birthday come 66th Wildlife Week celebration at the college campus today. Divisional Forest Officer Dr. Rebika Soibam Chanu and Secretary of College Governing Body K. Ibohol were the main guests of the event. Principal of the college R. K. Birzit attended as research person. Winners of the online slogan competition held during the 66th Wildlife Week were presented with citations and awards. Eight wildlife sabers were also honored with cash rewards. The Wildlife Service were Tom TV's Vishnupur Special Correspondent Dr. Hidram Roman, Officer in Charge Kwakta Police Anish Ahmed, S.H. Samarendra, Thiam Loken, Hamom Arbin, Ahong Sangbam Birmani, and Wildlife Explorer Secretary Ilangbam Premchit. Social worker Laurembam Sanjoy was released from jail yesterday. Sanjoy, a resident of Yairipok Yambia Mathaklikai, was arrested by Andhra Police in connection with a case. Andro residents welcomed Sanjoy, who was released after charges against him under NSA were revoked. <laughs>
With an objective to save money and time in providing healthcare facility in the state, the Thangbung Privilege Services Private Limited today launched an application called TPS QNET at Hotel Classic North AOC Imphal. The app was launched by Managing Director of Babina Group, Dr. T. H. W. Singh, in the presence of member of TPS QNET app and well wishes. Speaking to Tom TV on the sidelines of the event, TPS QNET app founder Lian Thangbung said that such app will provide better facility to the users who can get certain discount at hospital, salon and other important services. He also said that the app can save money and time. Everyone to be in a condition where they do not have to worry about in, in, in terms of health or save money. So that's what we're building. So if, uh, if you are willing to save money and if you're concerned about saving time, then our app is a place where you can actually uh, get the both. With the app, you can save time as well as your money. That's a promise and a guarantee. Indian Red Cross Society Imphal East District Brands organize a voluntary blood donation camp at Department of Transfusion Medicine, Jenims, today. The event was a part of the National Blood Donation Day. Altogether, 14 women and 19 men donated blood during the camp. Project Director of Manipur AIDS Control Society, Ahoban Roshita, Director of State Blood Transfusion Council, Dr. S. Ibungo Chobis Singh, Secretary of IRCS Manipur, Dr. R. K. Nimai Singh, and Chairman of IRCS Imphal East District, Narendra Ningomba, were present during the program. Narendra Ningomba said that the blood donation camp was organized to help solve shortages of blood amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC Kisan Cell Organizer won the state-level Kisan Sammelan at the Congress Bhavan in Imphal today. MPCC President M. Okendro, party office bearers and Kisan Cell office bearers attended the program. Around 60 members of district and block-level Kisan Congress also attended the event. Office of the Joint Director, District Veterinary Office, Jiribam Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Services vaccinated livestock at Jiribam's Hill Ghat today as part of the ongoing vaccination program under National Animal Disease Control Program. anti rabies and foot and mouth vaccines were given to domestic animals. The program, which started on October 5th, will continue till November 19. The Rongdai Students' Union RSU vehemently condemned what it termed domiciliary nocturnal raid and search operation by the 29 Assam rifles posted at Nungba Outpost at Rongdai village under Nungba subdivision in Nonde district on 7th of October. RSU in a press release stated that troops of 29 Assam rifles rounded up the innocent families and harassed them physically and mentally besides damaging household properties at the village. RSU said it condemns the high-handedness and unlawful raid by the Assam Rifles. Let's take another short commercial break. Stay tuned. Isagi nuai taba awa bapum na magna chama na chama fan bangamba baba abzal saha. Ana layong kang daba hidak na fan bangam daba kana gumba na pizza pitak taudu na semjen kiba. Lo na ba yek na ba taki ngatong na ba mane mamo yana daba nungshiba hanjan hanba yumban punsida ayet apan layta na ba. Angang yau daba yau naba amadi modeling film da mai pak naba pumnawak amuktang tanah biu nungai taba awa awa pumnawak kok naba ngasima call tobiru o baba abzal saha contact number seven zero three seven nine six one one six seven. Amang sang sang luar bawa matung natraga saram day thaklam day da sapon siji nado nak kut sing nahan dok bija daven kuzin tena nana tham bija daven.
Apabaising kita pi kita bani, cahana bapu alam sing, hazana kuptu na thambi kita bani. Yunggi apoi bapu masung amang sang, luna nana thambi. Jadi mengapa bagi menunggu lagi bang Ang Simbu ORS Jing Tablet amat di macam suhu cincak sing fajar na pijar video na daria dagi ngah top minyarasi. Europe the Engineering Management PIZ amat di general course tamling bah mahiru singgi tamak ta scholarship hundred percent fang bata nata na siphon oina four point two lakh fang bagi kudung cawal lagi raba mahi tam fam singni. Loi na loi na na India ma di foreign labak sing da MBBS MD course sing ba kaya maso tam na bagi damak amadi education don di kudong sa basu pizari. He na aku pamorol gida mag contact obiro Fort Wade Global Consulting Private Limited North AOC K Krupat Infal contact number six nine zero nine three seven four six two five. Admission open for Narayan Bidhari College. Permanently affiliated to Manipur University and included under UGC Act 1956. Free admission for tourism and hospitality management and various other diploma to degree courses and training programs. And also special classes on Indian stock market for those who want to invest or day trade. Classes for beginners to intermediate and intermediate to advanced level. For details, please contact or WhatsApp 7005097748 or visit our website www.nbcollege.ac.in. Ma, kaya dora ge pa yung regular miss na. Ho hospital na sa loob ni. Hagsang si kara nung ay tida na. Opiti ka amata sa ngalaw de. Ni na marola masiliba. Nong pa si na karim taka na di pola si da umdon adum lay di si di magi pola si tu gay kung bata soiro eh adugi oir ya mobile para ka kana ba di lower siyang ang di ko si ta kung bata mo ko yam na tangay pa da ba na tradi yum da gi adum phone da doctor gawari sana raga tana ba yari ima kamay na si nong siyang ham ba da isanji bini opd application si Google Play Store dagi download tau rani. Adagi registration si dana maga mobile number hafsil laga verify tau rani. Adagi ana bagi maming matahapa rani. Adagi doktor asang ba maga adum saksa unaraga warisan na biyare. Yam pay na do dia. Se. Ima kai kai nungay tau lai bagi habiyo. Ibu ng doktor. Ima gi kong se ngauri ngauri tau i. Sa nung kanung baso kaya paude. Adom adom gi smartphone da e sanjivani OPD application download tau bi duna natraga computer tablet sijina duna e sanjivani OPD dot in da sang bi duna ishagi yum da kom na amadi lem na laying baya bagi kudong sa basi love you. Welcome back. Saya Club, Liberal Club and United Club have demanded former MLA of Lilong Assembly constituency Abdul Nasir to clarify his recent derogatory remarks against one of the residents of Laifrakpam village over the phone. The local club said the, village, the villager was inquiring about PMGKAY. The local clubs also condemned Nasir for campaigning in the village for the upcoming by-elections. The United Writers for Manipur Bisnupur distributed the annual literature award to the winners on the doorstep today. Forum President Dr. Ranjit Mangang, General Secretary Dr. Huidrom were present during the award distribution event. Dr. Huidrom Roman, who is also the special correspondent of Tom TV, handed Itomcha Mani Mohan Literature Award 2019 to national awardee Dr. N. B. Nongshaba for his novel Kanglai Pakta Igi Turel. Sanjoy Kumar Memorial Award was handed over to Moirang Them Nilakumari for her Unagi Lai Pareng and Mangang Apoi Literature Award was conferred on national awardee Laishram Ramzi for his book Manglam Chat Ki Puya Puya Giwari Ama 2011. The award carries a memento, a citation and a shawl. Anak saya ini COVID terama panggil lecture lagi siapa meram na mana panggil tu bersinggah tu di yang jam dua belas lagi awak khusyin na bahaya tau jawab ni. Nama 
डॉक्टर एन बी नौशाब इतोम चाइन मनी मोहन लिटरेचर एवाड टू जीरो नाइनटीन एवाड खुशी नगरे इसे मोरथे नीलकुमारी संजय कुमार मेमोरियल एवाड टू जीरो नाइनटीन खुशी नजरे निगोंगी पोयाब लाइम रामजी रामजीद मंगापोई लिटरेचर एवाड टू जीरो नाइनटीन पीजगदी Thabaton Social Welfare Club today clarified that several social workers like KH Menjor Mangang, KH Akoisana, TH Jadumani and local MLA or Surja Kumar have extended aid to the club on various occasions. The clarification comes against the backdrop of a Facebook post by one Saikom AB Maite claiming that no social workers have ever extended help to the club. A one-day youth conference on the theme Join Enhanced Youths of Khangabo Kendra for a New Political Revolution was held at the residence of Dr. Kundrakpam Akoisana Singh of Khangabo Maistamlikai in Thawal District. Dr. K. H. Akoisana, BJP State Council Member and Convener of BJP Manipur Pradesh Professional Cell loaded the youth of Khangabo Tangkhalikai and Maistamlikai for their active participation in the development activities. Dr. K. H. Akoisana hit out at the Indian National Congress, INC, saying the Grand Old Party ceded Manipur's Cabo Valley to Burma, now Myanmar, in 1952. He said the Congress deserved to wipe out from the country. During the program, the participants resolved to support Dr. K. H. Akoisana in 2022 Manipur Assembly elections. The Manipur government in exercise of the powers conferred under section 160 and 166 of the Representation of the People Act 1951 has directed that the powers to requisition any premises vehicle etc for election purposes shall be exercised or discharged by Deputy Secretary Transport come Joint Director Transport Manipur Mayengbam Veto Singh District Election Officer Imphal West District Election Officer Thobal District Election Officer Kangpokpi and District Election Officer Churachanpur until the november 7 election is over esu donated rupees 25000 to former footballer angobi naurem who recently had a kit kidney transplant at the pci in chandigarh her mother donated one of her kidneys to angobi who is currently in fragile condition India's Roshan Mainam defeated China's Liu Peng Sui in a mixed martial arts contest at the championship event Nam Wan. Reign of Dynasties in Singapore yesterday by making his opponent tap in the second round with a rear naked chok submission move. A media report said this was the second fight for Roshan at Wan Championship and with the win his professional MMA record has now improved to five wins and two losses. He also has two wins out of his two fights in one championship which is the biggest combat sports promotion in asia the manipuri star is training at evolve mma team in singapore he was selected to the evolve team last year after he impressed in the trials which had participation from all around the world roshan was also the first indian fighter to join evolve after roshan indian wrestler star ritu fogat had also joined the team added the report The group of ministers GOM constituted by the Assam government will submit their final report by October 30th 2020 regarding granting Sidlul tribe as the status to six ethnic tribes of the state. A media report said the GOM held a discussion with six leaders of the six ethnic communities which have been demanding ST status for years. Finance minister Hemant Biswa Sharma who heads the GOM told media person after the myth that the state government is hopeful of a lasting solution to the vax issue as 60% of the issues have been resolved he added the representatives of the six communities coach rasbongsi tai ohom moran mutok chutia and adivasis made clear their stand during the meet The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has asked all private satellite television channels to adhere to the program code. The IB Ministry is an advisory issued on Friday emphasized that no program should criticize Malin or slander any individual or certain groups. According to the report, the High Court had in its September 17 order said it is hoped that media houses and television channels would show 
restrain in reporting and abide by the provisions of the program code as also the various guidelines, both statutory and self-regulatory, while making any report in relation to the petitioner. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has said that China has deployed more than 60,000 troops on India's northern border. The foreign ministers from the Indo-Pacific nations known as the Quad Group, the U.S., Japan, India and Australia met in Tokyo on Tuesday last in what was their first in-person talk since the coronavirus pandemic began. The meeting took place in the backdrop of amid Indo-China standoff at line of actual control LAC in eastern Ladakh. Pompeo met External Affairs Minister S. J. Sankar in Tokyo and they underscored the need to work together to advance peace, prosperity and security in the Indo-Pacific and around the club. He described his meeting with J. Sankar as productive. China has claimed that the coronavirus broke out in various parts of the world last year but it was the only one to have reported and acted first. The country strongly refuted the widely held view that the deadly contagion originated in Wuhan before turning out to be a pandemic. As per a media report, China, besides denying the U.S. allegations that COVID-19 has emerged from a bio lab in Wuhan, also rejected that it emanated from a wet market in the central Chinese city from bats or pangolins before infecting humans. Chinese Foreign Minister spokesperson Hua Chunying said the coronavirus is a new kind of virus as more and more facts emerge as reports reveal. We all know that the epidemic broke out in various places in the world at the end of last year. While China was the first to report the outbreak, I identified the pathogen and shared the genome sequence with the world. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top news headlines once again. Committee calls off Jiribam total shutdown as Chief Minister assures to fulfill demands. No bill for contractors without consent of engineers, says Education Minister. RPF claims several security personnel injured in Sajiktam Park attack. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.